Hey everybody, it's Gail. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a self-checking assignment. So we all know that parents need a break. This self-checking assignment will keep students learning a little more independently. Here's the steps for making a self-checking assignment. First, you capture multiple choice questions and you paste them on Google Slides. So what I mean by that is you could use your cell phone to take pictures of a handout each question in a handout. Um, you could do a screenshot on your laptop to um, take pictures of multiple choice questions, or you can actually type them in on the slide. Today, I'm going to um, do screenshots on my laptop just to kind of show that version. Next, you create correct and incorrect slides, and then you create text boxes on the answers of the multiple cho multiple choice questions and the magic happens is when you link the text boxes to the correct and incorrect slides. So here, let me show you how. So first I'm going to open up slides. Just get a new blank document or blank slide. Just let it load. We'll get Scooch that out of the way. We'll get rid of these. And um, typically when you make something, the first slide is a title slide anyway. So I'm going to um, go ahead and make um, a few more slides on here, but we'll just have them. I'm going to do three questions today. Um, so this is the title. Oops, this is the title slide. So let's put a question in here. So I happen to have um, Chinese etiquette um, when using chopsticks. So I'm going to screen capture this first question. And so um, I could do one of two things. I could save it, which is what I'm going to do. And um, we'll do question one, Chinese. And or you could just paste it in right from right from the way it was. But I wanted to save it because what I want to do is actually make it be the background picture. So now I can go back and find Chinese, the question one. And there is my question. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add the other questions. I've already screen captured them before. Or, but again, to show you how um, I'm turning on my screen capturing by using Control Shift the letter S for when and that's a Windows 10 thing. Um, or you can find your um, your snippet tool or um, whatever it is. But you find a way to screen capture or to take um, a picture with your cell phone and upload it and get your question into slide. And so I would save it um, and insert it. So I've already got those saved, a few of those. So I'm going to choose my image and I'm going to do question two. And again, one reason why I like the background is because then students can't move the picture around. Once it's in the background, it's staying there. Um, and that's a good thing when you have, um, anytime you have students clicking on things. So step one, um, as I said, was to get the questions in. And now step two is to make yes or uh, yes or no or the correct incorrect slides. So I'm going to go ahead and insert a couple more slides while I can. Let's do, I'm going to make this, oops, <laughs> I'm going to make this one be green. And then just add text, and that will say, great job. You are correct. Okay. Click below to go to the next. So um, then we can make it get bigger and let's center it also while we're here. And 
And then I'm going to make a kind of a button down here. It says, click here. So that everybody knows what's supposed to happen. There. Then I can go ahead and duplicate this. So I'm doing control D and I have another one. And so I'm just going to go in and change this now to red and say, sorry, you are incorrect. Look below to try again. This time I can move this up. Okay. So now we need to add text boxes on top of these answers. So one text box um, will indicate that they are correct and the other text boxes will indicate they're incorrect. So let's do the correct one first. So I happen to peeked and know the answer to this um, is um, B. And so now I'm just going to make that text box link to um, slide three, because that is the correct one and apply. Now I'm going to make another text box to go over A. And I need to make sure that I'm only clicking on the text box. And um, I'm doing control K. It's a shortcut for um, insert a link. And I want this because it's incorrect to go to four. And then I can copy and paste this one. Uh, off we go. And then let's make our links here. So if it's correct, they click here. Then they would go to slide five. And if they're incorrect and they click here, we need them to go back to slide two. So let's just try it out, see how we're doing. So if they clicked A, Sorry, click here, go back, yay. And let's do another wrong one, yay. Let's do a right one, and it went to, yay, hoo-hoo. So there we go. So then what I would do is I would, I'm holding on to the shift key and, and then clicking on these two slides, and I'm going to copy them. And now from here. Um, kind of after each question and but you do need to go in and for example now the correct one needs to go to slide eight so I need to edit this so that it goes to slide eight apply this one needs to go to slide five And then same for this one. Let's edit this. This needs to go, but it's correct. It goes to the next slide, which I don't have any of right now. Let me put one in there. So this one needs to go to slide 11. Try again. Sometimes it's hard to find those. <laughs> I think it's always important to show when it's not easy. So I'm, this needs to go to slide 11. Let's see if I can make it. There we go. 11, apply. This one needs to go back to slide 8. I'm going to edit that. Slide 8 apply and then up the last another step is um, putting in these text boxes so my next question um, to when you point chopsticks at someone it means what 
and it means that you're insulting that next person. So I want to shout out to you guys. What do I do next? So I'm going to put in here, you're insulting next person. And I want to make sure that that links to, I'm going below to the green, um, slide six. Apply. And another text box, and this is the text box that we copy a lot of times. And those two slide seven. Copy paste. Copy paste. There we go. And again, it's always nice to kind of double check. So um, sometimes the problems I have, I already told you about um, having a title slide because you'll see how um, you really need to pay attention to what slides they are. So if, um, if all of a sudden you remember, oh, I need a title slide and you put a title slide up here, now all of a sudden all these slides are um, numbered the wrong way for linking. So it saved you um, four hours of um, creation time and many tiers. And then the other thing is sometimes when you put in a text box, you need to make sure that you really are only on the text box and not on, not inside on this letter. Um, cause if you, um, put, if you try and do a link now, the link is going to be inside, um, on the text, not on the box. So those are the two kind of main, um, issues that I've had before. Um, and then you just keep on, um, trying it, trying it, trying it. And then um, it's pretty easy. Then you share it with students and it's great to put inside Google Classroom. You can assign it to all the students um, or just some of them. And um, it's a, again, something that they can do on their own that the parents don't have to help them do. So there you go. That is how to make a self checking um, assignment in Google Slides. And as always, just let me know if you have any questions.